Breaking news from the International Space Station today, and it's about our astronauts Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore. Remember when their eight-day mission turned into a months-long stay? Well, I've got some exclusive information from Eric Berger at Ars Technica that's going to change everything we thought we knew about their return timeline. Here's the story that's been unfolding behind the scenes. While Butch and Sonny have been up there since June, SpaceX has been wrestling with some unexpected challenges with their newest Dragon spacecraft. But before we get into those details, let me share something that caught my attention. NASA has been quietly making some major moves that could bring our astronauts home by March 19th. That's two weeks earlier than anyone expected. You might be wondering, why the sudden change? Well, this is where things get really interesting. It turns out there's been a complex dance of spacecraft scheduling, technical hurdles, and critical supply management happening at NASA that most people don't know about. And trust me, when you hear how all these pieces fit together, you'll understand why this mission has become one of the most fascinating stories in current space exploration. What makes this even more compelling is how it's affecting other missions, including a groundbreaking private space venture. We're talking about schedule shifts that could reshape the entire spring launch calendar, and I've got all the insider details to share with you. Welcome back to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where you get the latest updates on everything happening in space exploration. Let's dive right in. The story of Butch and Sonny's extended stay on the International Space Station is more than just a tale of delayed schedules and technical challenges. It's a testament to human adaptability, the complexities of modern spaceflight, and the intricate dance of decisions that keeps our astronauts safe in the harshest environment known to humanity. Their journey has become a defining moment in modern space exploration, highlighting both the remarkable progress we've made and the challenges we still face in our quest to reach for the stars. Let's start with what's happening right now. According to Eric Berger's latest reporting, NASA has been orchestrating a complex series of moves behind the scenes that will bring our astronauts home by March 19th. This isn't just a simple schedule adjustment, it's a carefully choreographed solution to a problem that's been building since last June, when what should have been an eight-day stay transformed into a mission spanning nearly 300 days in space. To put this in perspective, that's longer than it would take to travel to Mars. And our astronauts have spent this time conducting critical research and maintaining the space station while dealing with the psychological and physical challenges of extended spaceflight. But here's where the story takes an unexpected turn. The reason for this early return isn't what you might think. It's not about politics, as some have suggested, and it's not about any immediate danger to our astronauts. Instead, it's about a technical challenge that's been quietly developing with SpaceX's newest Dragon spacecraft, C-213, the final vehicle in their impressive Dragon fleet. This situation has revealed the intricate web of dependencies that modern space operations rely on, where a single technical issue can cascade through multiple missions and affect the plans of both government agencies and private companies. Think about this for a moment. SpaceX has been building and testing C-213 as their newest and last Dragon spacecraft. This vehicle was supposed to make its debut with the Crew-10 mission, carrying four fresh astronauts to relieve Butch and Sonny's crew. But in December, something changed. NASA announced a delay, pushing Crew-10 to late March, which would have kept Butch and Sonny in space until early April. The reason? A technical issue with C-213's batteries that's proven more challenging to resolve than initially expected. This seemingly straightforward problem has sparked a chain reaction that's forcing NASA and SpaceX to completely reorganize their carefully planned schedule of missions. The complexity of this situation becomes even more apparent when we look at the daily operations aboard the International Space Station. Each day requires precise coordination of resources, from the oxygen generation systems to water recycling, from food supplies to waste management. Every astronaut consumes approximately 1.83 pounds of food per day, along with about 2.6 gallons of water, and all of this must be carefully tracked and managed. When mission timelines extend unexpectedly, as they have for Butch and Sonny, it puts additional strain on these carefully calculated resource margins. This is where the story gets really interesting, and it shows just how complex space operations have become. NASA and SpaceX found themselves facing a critical decision, 
They could either wait for C213 to be ready, which might not happen until late April, or they could completely reorganize their carefully planned schedule of missions. They chose the latter, and here's why. The space station was approaching what NASA calls red lines on essential supplies like food and water. These aren't arbitrary limits. They're carefully calculated thresholds that ensure the crew's safety even in worst case scenarios, like if a resupply mission fails or gets delayed. Let me put this in perspective. The International Space Station isn't just a scientific laboratory. It's a carefully balanced ecosystem where every supply, every docking port, and every crew rotation must be precisely timed. When one piece of this complex puzzle shifts, it creates a ripple effect that touches everything else. NASA's decision to bring forward the C-210 vehicle, nicknamed Endurance, from its planned private axiom for mission shows just how serious these considerations are. This decision wasn't made lightly. It required careful coordination with multiple partners and a complete reassessment of mission priorities. The impact of this decision extends far beyond just Butch and Sonny's return. The Axiom 4 mission, representing the growing commercial presence in space, now needs complete rescheduling. This isn't just about moving dates on a calendar. It involves coordinating with international partners, adjusting training schedules, reorganizing cargo manifests, and ensuring that all safety protocols are maintained throughout these changes. Each adjustment requires careful consideration of multiple factors, from the orbital mechanics that determine possible launch windows to the complex logistics of crew training and quarantine procedures. But there's an even more fascinating aspect to this story that shows how interconnected modern space operations have become. The changes also impact the groundbreaking FRAM-2 mission, led by crypto billionaire Chun Wang. This isn't just another private space mission, it's set to be the first human spaceflight mission to enter a polar orbit, pushing the boundaries of what private space exploration can achieve. The mission will now use the Dragon spacecraft Resilience C-207, which has already been refurbished and proudly displays the FRAM-2 logo on its side. This quick adaptation shows the incredible flexibility of modern space operations and the growing sophistication of private space ventures. The FRAM-2 mission itself deserves special attention because it represents a new frontier in space exploration. The planned polar orbit isn't just a technical achievement. It's opening up new possibilities for scientific research and Earth observation. The mission's timing was carefully planned to take advantage of specific lighting conditions over the South Pole, which makes the scheduled disruption particularly significant. When Chun Wang mentioned losing the South Pole in daylight, he was referring to the complex orbital mechanics that determine when and how their mission can achieve its scientific objectives. Speaking of scientific objectives, let's talk about what Butch and Sonny have been doing during their extended stay. Their mission has included crucial research in microgravity environments, studying everything from human physiology to material science. They've conducted experiments that could help us better understand diseases on Earth, tested new technologies for future space exploration, and maintain the complex systems that keep the International Space Station functioning. Their extended stay, while unplanned, has provided valuable data about long-duration spaceflight that will be crucial for future missions to Mars and beyond. The timing of their return is particularly crucial because it intersects with multiple competing priorities. NASA isn't just managing crew rotations. They're orchestrating a complex ballet of cargo missions, private flights, and essential station maintenance. Every decision must balance crew safety, station supplies, scientific research, and the growing commercial space sector. This balancing act has become increasingly complex as more private companies enter the space industry, each with their own missions and objectives that need to be coordinated with existing operations. This situation also reveals something important about the evolution of space travel. We're in an era where commercial providers like SpaceX aren't just supporting NASA's missions, they're integral to the entire space operation. When a technical issue arises with a Dragon spacecraft, it doesn't just affect one mission, it creates a cascade of adjustments that ripple through the entire space program. This interdependence between public and private space operations is a relatively new phenomenon, and it's changing how we approach space exploration. The resolution of this situation demonstrates the incredible flexibility 
and problem-solving capabilities of modern space operations. NASA's decision to swap vehicles and adjust mission timelines shows how far we've come from the rigid schedules of early spaceflight. Today's space program can adapt and reconfigure complex mission plans while maintaining the highest safety standards. This flexibility is crucial as we move toward more ambitious goals in space exploration, including returning to the moon and eventually sending humans to Mars. Looking at the bigger picture, this situation highlights the increasing complexity of managing space operations in an era where commercial, government, and private missions all share the same infrastructure. The International Space Station has become a hub of international cooperation and commercial activity, requiring careful coordination between multiple partners with different objectives and priorities. The fact that NASA can juggle these competing priorities while ensuring crew safety and mission success is a testament to how far space operations have evolved. As we await the March 12th launch date for Crew 10 aboard Endurance, it's worth noting that even this date isn't set in stone. It depends on other missions in SpaceX's Falcon 9 manifest, showing how interconnected all aspects of space operations have become. This flexibility and adaptability are crucial as we move into an era of increased space activity, with multiple launches happening every month and new players entering the field regularly. The impact on other missions, particularly private ventures like Fram2, shows how the space industry is becoming more diverse and complex. When Chun Wang posted his message about losing the South Pole in daylight for their mission, it wasn't just about a schedule change. It was about the real-world implications of space operation decisions on groundbreaking scientific research. This kind of challenge is becoming more common as the number of space missions increases and the available launch windows and orbital slots become more crowded. What makes this story particularly significant is how it demonstrates the evolution of space travel from purely government-led endeavors to a complex ecosystem of public and private partnerships. The fact that NASA can smoothly reorganize such complex mission schedules while maintaining safety and mission objectives shows just how mature our space capabilities have become. This maturity is essential as we look toward more ambitious goals in space exploration, including establishing permanent bases on the moon and eventually sending humans to Mars. As we look forward to Butch and Sonny's return, their extended mission serves as a powerful reminder of the challenges and triumphs of human spaceflight. Their story isn't just about delayed schedules and technical challenges. It's about human adaptation, technological innovation, and the incredible coordination required to keep humans safe in space. Their experience will provide valuable insights for future long-duration missions, helping us better understand both the technical and human aspects of extended spaceflight. Their upcoming return marks not just the end of their extended mission, but also represents the ongoing evolution of space exploration. As we continue to push the boundaries of what's possible in space, the lessons learned from managing this complex situation will inform future missions and help shape the future of human spaceflight. Their journey has become part of the larger story of human space exploration, adding another chapter to our understanding of what it takes to live and work in space. This story shows us that space exploration isn't just about the technology or the missions. It's about the people who make it all work, from the astronauts adapting to extended stays in space to the ground teams constantly working to ensure their safe return. As we watch these events unfold, we're witnessing not just a space mission, but the continued evolution of humanity's greatest adventure. The challenges faced and overcome in bringing Butch and Sonny home safely will become part of the foundation for future missions, helping us better prepare for the ambitious space exploration goals that lie ahead. The changing landscape of space exploration continues to amaze us, from the technical challenges with SpaceX's newest Dragon to the ripple effects on groundbreaking missions like Fram 2. As we watch NASA and SpaceX work together to bring Butch and Sunny home safely, we're witnessing a new chapter in human spaceflight one where flexibility and innovation go hand in hand with safety and precision. Speaking of innovation, I recently received something special that perfectly captures this spirit of space exploration. One of our community members, Olivia from T-Minus Live, created this incredible piece of art, a beautifully painted heat tile showing a Starship booster in Mechazilla's chopsticks. It's a stunning reminder of how space exploration inspires creativity in all forms. 
If you want to stay updated on Butch and Sonny's return, the latest developments with SpaceX's Dragon Fleet, and all the breaking news in space exploration, make sure to subscribe to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Hit that like button if you found this breakdown helpful and share your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear your take on these recent developments. Until next time, keep looking up and stay curious about the final frontier.